All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug, and I'm coming at you with the Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're just continuing on. We didn't have the greatest run, as I'm really not used to this truck. Uh, when we banged around quite a lot. Didn't help that we had a guy drive straight into our front, which honestly should not have damaged the trailer or my truck, considering the bumper and the bull bar that I have on the front of this monster. But, uh, oh well, what can you do? You know what I really wish? I really wish I could make those white lights blue. So I'd have alternating blue and uh, orange to match the rest of the truck. But, oh well. Anyways, if you're wondering, yes. Uh, I am recording this. Uh, on top of, basically, uh, the last video. And I might record the entire week's videos. Just so... You know, I, I don't have much to do right now. I need to kill time. Whirlies are not bad during the day. It's going to be how they do at night. Which, uh... God, I wish this thing would stop. Well, it does turn off on its own. Okay. So, it looks like, yeah, we're picking up the... Uh, I'm going to assume it's here. Rather than across the street. And I was right. I remember having a trailer mod in a while back. I forget where it was from. And I was trying to tow it. And I went under a street light. And the, there was a uh, an antenna coming off the... Uh, coming off the vehicle that was so tall it actually hooked onto the street light. I couldn't go through a street light. That was before I st uh, started recording in all due honesty. So same kind of trailer, different different color, different vehicle. Hopefully we can do better this time. Should be okay, or you know, not. Now we're all right. I don't know why I have the direction on right now. Now it's okay. Sadly, um... Truck Sim Map still has not updated. They're still in the old 1.17 build. I'm wondering if they're ever going to update. I have my fan on to help keep it cool, and I've got it pointed like almost directly at me, and it's actually a little too cold for that. You know, it's one of those situations where it's too hot to be without a fan, but too cold to have the fan on you. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I actually used to live in uh, a couple places where you turn the heater on in the winter and the heater was so powerful that it actually uh, was too hot, even on its lowest setting. Uh, 
one place I lived in, we had a really old white cast iron like gas stove that had the heater built into the side of it. And you turn that thing on and just, oh my god. Your skin would start flaking. It was so dry. I actually put, used to, I had to uh, use a trick that my dad used to use when he had his wood burning stove. Was to, um, place a, uh, thanks. A giant pot of water. I actually bought it. A huge pot. I had to buy like a huge saucepan. You know, just giant. You know, have you ever gone to the store? You've probably seen them. Maybe your grandparents had one something. Those black with white speckled pots. Yeah. I had to buy one of those. Fill it with water every day and then dangle a, um, a towel out of it. The towel would soak up the water and then the heat would dry it out and it would add moisture to the air. I mean, that's just how bad things were. So, <laughs> you know, that's all I could do. And even then, I still had the windows open because it was still too hot. You know, the towel trick only took care of the dryness. It didn't take care of the, uh, the actual heat. And then... To make matters worse... Another place I lived... That doesn't really make matters worse, does it? Sometimes I don't know where my brain goes. But in another place I lived... This is where I lived in New Hampshire. Um lived in a building where I was on the third floor and I couldn't turn the heat down or off. We had an old radiator system. You know, the radiators, basically what happens is hot water pumps through these from either a gas furnace or an oil burning furnace or something like that. You know, it was the old furnace style. And it would pump water uh You know, through the furnace, the water would get heated and then be distributed through the house and pipes, and the pipes would go to the radiators. The radiators would fill up with um, hot water and, you know, radiate heat. And then they would drain back out. You know, sometimes you'd, you'd open up the valve and you'd hear, you know, you get that shh as the steam would come out of the valve. Um, well, I lived on the third floor, and the valve on my radiator must have been broken, because the heat was so strong, it was unbearable, and I had to open the windows. And I remember the landlord showed up, I actually heard him yelling. Why the hell is I looking at that? The windows are open up there, I pay for that! Da -da -da. And I stood waiting for him at the door. I opened the door. I didn't even want to give him a chance to knock. And he came in. He saw me standing there. And he kind of like, you know, did a back take. And then he went to yell. And I said, before, and he started yelling at me. I said, look, look, wait, wait. Just come in here for a minute. So he came in. And he was like, why the hell do you have it so hot in here with the windows open? Are you trying to run? And I said, no. I said, I can't turn the heat off. I can't turn it down. No adjustments I make to the radiator make a difference. It's just continuous and constant. There is nothing I can do. If I don't open these windows, I'm gonna die in here. It's so hot. Oh, that's bullshit. I said, really, you're here? Go ahead, go check. Keep going, knock yourself out. So he went to the radiator and he went to close the valve and why are you stopped do you see lights I don't see lights it's 
speed limit 30. Yay. Can we go faster now? That worked. <laughs> Not really. Speed limit goes up here to a whole 50. And he tried shutting the radiator off anyways, as I was saying, and it just didn't shut off. So he's like, oh, well, all right, I'll get someone to fix it. No one ever came before I left. Too bad. It was kind of nice place, too. Oh, what? Uh, you're going to speed up now, aren't you, you little bitch? And then you're going to slow down and get... I will run your sorry ass off the road. You have my word on that. You know what? Fuck you. So I will run your ass off the road, man. I swear it. Alright. Rotary, we need to be careful. Because of the trailer... I actually took this very poorly. I didn't realize I was in neutral. I think we're gonna clip, but as long as I take it slow... No, actually, I think we just barely miss. Not bad, not bad. when I lived in New Hampshire. I loved living in New Hampshire, but... And I had some bad experiences there, for sure. Experiences that I don't want to talk... I've talked about them before, and I, I'm just going to be straight with you guys. I don't feel like talking about them right now. I'm depressed enough. I don't need to depress myself uh, any further. My whirlies aren't... Yeah, but they're still causing a bad flash in and outside the cab. I don't understand why in. I can mess around with them after this video. Uh, when I get an... Well, maybe not this video, but when I get a nighttime. You know, when I fix and it's nighttime. Then I can go in and out of the garage and... Uh, remove lights and see if it makes a difference. Because I need... My, I can get away without using the whirlies on this. It's not really an oversized trailer, but... If I'm going to be towing a big or heavy trailer, then I want my damn whirly lights. tell you guys right now if I go to if I if find myself in a situation where I can tow a 123 ton trailer like we saw yesterday I'm switching to the 18 speed transmission 70 tons 13 speed 123 18 speed yeah 18 speed no doubt I mean, we're talking an additional 43 tons. That's like towing an old train trailer that was maxed out at 70 tons, plus a midsize, uh, maybe like a medium tank at 40 tons. That's just insane. Red light. Hey, you know, there's a garage up here. I could... Oh, jeez. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. I went to wipe my nose.
I'm just kind of thinking that if I could get this garage, uh, but I'd probably have to turn off the road. I was just thinking if I get this garage, then I could uh, play around with the lights now. I'm going to. It's like right freaking there. should still be dark enough for me to do this. Why can't I go that way? Seriously? I want to go like... <sighs> I, I don't... Try something here. Apparently, I've been there before. Alright, cars randomly stopped in the middle of the road. Awesome. Truck randomly stopped in the middle of the road. Awesome. These things aren't fucked up enough. See how I have to do this? Alright. In for a penny, in for a pound. That's the way I look at it right now. Alright, seriously? Just stop that. hard over and hope we can make this turn. I say hope because there's a van here. And I'm going to say no. Because I don't want to jackknife the truck. Which is about what's about, which is what's about to happen. There's a pole there, really. We made it. Alright. Let's just drop the trailer. don't want to fuck this one up, do you? <sighs> to which I fucked it up. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Let's repair the little bit of damage we did. And then, um... Let's try removing this light and this light. Hey, yeah, that works. All right. Oops. So we need to put something else in that slot. Lollipop? So I really don't want to put another horn. And I think putting big lights in front of big lights... Actually, why don't we... Maybe if we did it like this. What if we put the lollipops back here? And then put the big lights in front of them. 
You, know, you really can't see them from the front or the back, so that really didn't matter. <sighs> Just more chrome lights. I don't like the way that looks, though. Screamers. No. Hmm. All right. All right. Bear with me a minute here. What if we did like this? And like this, and then put screamers in the front. Uh, the only thing is, is those forward lights tilt down. And again, I'm not fond of that, but it could be worse. God, it just doesn't it just doesn't work for me. I don't like it. Can I put my whirlers back here? And then put my heavy lights up front. That would work. I'm okay with this. Does that cause problems? Nope. That looks good. All right. Um, something tells me to drive outside right now. And this would be why. hit there's nothing here look I hit nothing oh my god I'm spending more on fixing my truck from banging into things than anything else and now the whirlies are causing issues I am getting flashes inside What the hell's going on? No, it is. I think it's when I'm driving. That's a problem. You know what? Screw it. I'm keeping it. I'm just keeping it. We need to go. <laughs> we rolled away from the trailer. Yeah, sure. Whatever. What the fuck? I press T. So all that work and effort for nothing. Isn't that fun? Truth be told, I and I know it's a little bit more true to nature. You can tell I'm getting frustrated now. Because with flashing lights, there is kind of an effect like this. All I can hope is that nobody watching is prone to seizures. Look, again! 
I'm basically hitting nothing. And yet the game's like, I bumped into something. Now these are not problems with the truck. I've had that kind of issue with just regular in-game trucks. Right. It's almost like I'm getting the reflection off the afraid of how much the trailer's damage. 13%! Oh, God. How much does it say my truck? Wait. What's my truck? 6%? From what? From what? At this point, I accept no responsibility for the current damage. I just don't. That's just utterly ridiculous. 6% to my truck out of nowhere. 13% to the trailer. From what? What the hell hit the trailer that hard? I am beyond frustrated right now. I don't know how it flashes in the cabin like this. Really don't. Shit, I need to go this way. Fortunately, that worked. It, it will eventually stop bothering me. I just wonder if it's like this, like if I was driving my Mercedes, if I'd have these interior flashes. Or if these interior flashes are a design flaw. Because I'm going to be honest with you, they look like a design flaw. I am going to turn them back off for now. Fiddle around with I don't know, it was fine when I first turned them uh, on, and now it's like, you know what, fuck you. Right there. Guarantee it. Yep. 
I can't. Nope. It can't go under the sign. It can't go under the sign. There's absolutely no way to get it under here. Nope. Nope. Is there an alternate route? No. Not unless I go over... And this trailer's been fucking me up all the way along. I think this is where a lot of my damage and stuff is coming from, is that the trailer's actually too fucking tall. It's the problem with using various mods together. Wow, this sucks. Well, there's only one thing to do about it. Yeah. Um... There's a way... Um... F7... F8... F6... I'm just gonna pay the fee and fuck the cargo. And then I need to go... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. This has been bad enough. Uh, company manager. Garage manager. Travel. I didn't realize my... Don't suppose I can fix here as well? It's unfucking believable. Shut up! I got a damaged truck here. You know what? Screw you, light. I'm pissed off.
fight. That sucks, man. Look at how much money. We were on our way to getting a new truck. And we just blew all of that money because the trailer and the mod didn't go together. That's ridiculous. The trailer and the map mod, rather. Yeah, screw you, game. Alright. Let's find our next one. <sighs> Cargo weight, no. Uh, race per distance. It's <sighs> an interesting one. Let me get a 30 ton caterpillar. It's only 716 kilometers. And this 22 ton. Oh, that's only 326. How about just flat out price? Yeah. I guess we're going to go with the DAF XFs. <sighs> Alright, folks. I apologize for this run. It, it should be funny that I mentioned about my old truck that hooked on the lights uh, with that trailer. And now I've run into this. So... <sighs> Say la vie. I'm gonna like fool around with the lights on here. I'm gonna rest again till it's no. If I rest again, I'm gonna lose the trailer. I'm gonna fool around with the lights on here before I shut it down. Try something different. 